Morning. Yep, yeah, me again. Right, today I'm just going to make some cheese scones and some fruit scones. Mel asked me for some cheese scones. So I thought, well, why not? I'm going to make them two ways today. Both exactly the same way. One with self-raising flour, one with plain flour. Just show you that both work. Um, yep, yeah, a, lot, a lot of you actually make scones anyway, so I don't need to show a lot of people, to be fair. Um, everyone makes them every Sunday. I've seen some superb ones from, from our Nicola to uh, Alexa Vicky. As if Vicky Charlton, she makes a lot, does a lot of bacon. Um, so yeah, a lot, of, a lot of you out there already make them. So I'm just gonna go through some basic stuff for the people who don't know. Very, very simple. Um, I'm doing it one handy because I'm by myself today. I've got no video, video right hand man. So let, let's go. Here. Yeah. I've got some plain flour. I've got some self raisin flour, and you can make them with both. You really can. So today, the first one I'm gonna make with self raisin flour very very easily well in there oh let's have a look i've got two i think it's 250 500 sorry 500 um grams of flour that's just normal self-raising flour um just some simple stuff to add to it so the first thing we put in is just a pinch of salt pinch of salt and paprika just a pinch of paprika it gives it just it brings the cheese out I think gives a nice little color also brings that cheese out so you only want a, a touch and a teaspoon of bacon powder that's all the dry, dry ingredients and what I do now to make sure it's all completely mixed I whack it through the sieve a couple of times just to make sure it's all mixed properly and I mean a couple of times, so I'll put it through there once, and I'll do it again. So give me two seconds. And again, that's the the second time. That just makes sure it's all mixed correctly. Everything's in there: the salt, bacon powder, and plus it gives a bit of aeration to the uh, the flour, help them rise a bit. And I'm going to do now is put my butter. I've got my butter diced up. Well, it's actually not. It's not butter. I've actually got some. Um, it's margarine. Basically, it's margarine. It's bacon block. It's actually margarine. So, um, but it's a bit expensive, isn't it? So you can use butter. Um, but yeah, I'm using this margarine. A bit harder than margarine, to be honest. But I'm gonna whack that in. So what I've got there is. It's weird again. It's actually four. 450 grams of flour on there and I've got 110 fat I've got more fat in my belly but yeah 110 grams of butter or margarine and I'm just going to rub that into breadcrumbs again try and not to eat pound my hands cheek keep as cold as possible so just use your fingertips and there just that's a couple of minutes you've got fine breadcrumbs again I start using a knife now your hands are very very warm and it starts to melt the butter and I'll do get a handful of cheese. I've got two, I think about 220 grams of cheese there. It's a lot of cheese, but I like my cheese scones. Now, I'm not going to put all of it in because I want to use some just to, to garnish the top of it, which will melt on the scones, which gives nice, a nice texture, nice appearance. So I'm just going to get, I think that'll do, won't it? Something like that. It doesn't make a difference. And get a knife and just stir it around, get it all mixed in well. There you are. Real cheese. And cheese scones. I hate when these shops scrimp and scrape. Get your cheese in there, man. You want to taste the cheese. Right, I've got 200 mils of milk. 200 mils of milk. And what I usually do, I used to put mustard powder. Mustard powder in my mix. And it brings, a, to me, it enhances the cheese. The cheese flavour. But I haven't got any. <laughs> I haven't got any. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put a teaspoon of English mustard in my milk. I know it sounds strange, you don't have to put it in, it's not necessary, but I think it brings out the flavour. And to be honest, I know if you don't like mustard, I don't like mustard, you won't be able to taste it, you really won't. So it's not something that you're going to go, I don't like mustard, you will not taste it. So give it a good mix in. This is the important part. Now, I put three quarters in to see how it goes. Don't pour it all in because you may be too, too much and then a bit, bit too wet. Again, you can always add a bit more liquid, but you can't take it out. 
So we're going to put three quarters in. Stir it round the knife, just crisscross, crisscross, stir and get it all the bottom up and it should come to a nice soft dough. If you need some more liquid, add the little bit at the end. If you don't, then grate. Let's mix it there. And as you can see, it's come to a nice ball. I have got a bit of liquid left there, so I didn't use all of it. So I've got a nice ball there, come together. Don't play around with it. Nice and delicate, try and touch it as least as possible. Bring it together, nice smooth dough. And then we'll have a little clean around and get some flour on the surface ready to roll it. Right, there's my mix. I've let it rest for 10 minutes. Just let it relax a little. So I've got a floured surface and we'll gently roll it. Now you don't want it too thin. That's a secret with scones. You want them nice and high because they really don't rise that much after cutting them. They really don't. So you want them. You can re-roll this pastry, it's not a problem. Try and keep it nice and light. Gently, just take your time. That's about the thickness you want. You can have them thicker, you can have them thinner. It's entirely up to you. Now I've just got a normal pastry cutter. Again, I've used, I know people that have used uh, pint glasses, cups. You can use wherever you want. But I've just got a, a pastry cutter. So I'm just going to in, wiggle, 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 out. In, wiggle, 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 out. In, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And again, this one will go back together. Ready for a second roll. Again, don't handle it too much. Again, just try and keep it even. Squeeze it in. Keep it even. And again, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Done. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Done. And wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Done. They should get another scone at least. That's right. Try and get it come round a bit. Even. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Done. Have a new say now on Facebook. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And again, not much pressure left. Why waste? And now we have it. Our scones got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine scones. Could have done with ten, but but I've done nice, nice and thick. We have scones all in a grease tray. Uh, non stick tray are ideal, but I've got an old tray there. Um, non grease tray. Now, what I do, which a lot of people don't, I just let them relax now. Just put a tea towel over. And you just let them relax. 10 minutes. Towel tech. Done. Right. Hello. Callum's going to be the, the chef today making the fruit scones. So, right, Callum, we need 200 grams of plain flour. How oh, now? Now put your ball on top. Zero. Is that zero? Yeah. Right, okay. 200 grams. Come on. This is plain flour recipe, this one. Is that 200? 205. Okay, right, I want 250 of the strong bread flour. See, so, no, on top. Put it back on there, put it to zero. Right. Come. How much? You want two fifty. Mm, two sixty. What? Oh, yeah. Just put some your fingertips. Right now, we want seventy grams. No, actually, put a pinch of salt in. Pinch of salt. A little shake. Hold it. Whoa, Jesus Christ. It's, it's, it's like it's salty. Yeah. So now we need 25 grams of bacon powder. Just put it on top. Just turn it to cocaine. 25. 20, oh, nice one. <laughs> Done. Right. 
Don't bake with kids. Don't work with animals or work with kids. Nice one. What's that say? <laughs> nice gentle. I don't know what it says. So you want 25. <laughs> that, that, what's that? What's that? Three. 23. Nice one. <laughs> 25. Right, put that in. You die up. <laughs> oh my God. Don't waste all that. All that cookie was left. Cooking. So now we have to sieve it. God. Try and get it in, into the sieve itself. Yeah, I am. Oh, spilling it. Can you hold it one hand and get your other hand in? Scrape in. Like. You can play football. He can swim and do boxing, but he can't cook to save his life. Mm, That's it. Then again, I can cook, but I can't do anything else to save my life. <laughs> <laughs> Run all in. Tip her all in. That's it. I'll leave it on the side again. I'll just give it a shake. Just no, just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle, wiggle. No, put it in. Like that. And just shake it. Not daft. One. One, put leave this. <laughs> leave it on the bowl. You just wiggle it on the bowl. <laughs> oh my god. So you want 70 grams of butter. Well, no, take the plate out. You can't see it. What have you got there? Mm -hmm. right. 125. So you want half of that. So take a quarter off. That's it. See what you've got left with. Put it back on the plate, what you don't use. And that'll. What have you got now? Why don't you just take that? Down there like that. I've got 100 in. So you take some more off, you want 70. Why you got the other way? The thinner end. What's that? That is 79. Ah, that'll do. Yeah. Right, I want that Dyson. And then add it to the flour. Dyson. Yeah. Add it to the flour. Dice it. That means cut it. Oh. oh. Yeah, cut, cut it. Good shit, me. Uh. Why didn't you turn it flat? <laughs> Can't be melted by the time you're doing it. <laughs> Breadcrumb. See all this is powder still. So you need all that mixed in together. Try and keep it in the bowl. So put ten your bowl around if you have to. So. Don't squeeze your fans that way. That's the other, that's the other way. Palms up. That's it. Palms up. I can safely say Cam's not going to be a chef when he grows up, if he ever grows up. Do they roll, do we put sugar? Right, no, sugar, that's flour. Sugar, now we're supposed to use caster sugar, but we haven't got no caster sugar. Because we're in lockdown, we'll have to use granulated. It doesn't really matter. For the purists, they'll go mad, but I use granulated, they don't care. So we want 70 grams of sugar. Can we manage that? See if you get exactly 70. Okay. 70? Yeah. Might be here a while. Something See, I knew you wouldn't get exact. Right, whack that in the bowl. You in a bit? No, whack that in the bowl. Come on, in the bowl. In the bowl. I've got 71. Right, see all that raisins over there? Whack all your raisins in. We do fruit scones. Yeah, well, uh, not half. Oh. That's what it looks like. That'll do. I think. Give it a mix up your hand. Don't mess about, just lift it in the air, nice and aerated. Don't squeeze it, just in the air, right at the bottom. Do you know what? Yeah, they are, they won't use them again. Get them all in. No, I didn't eat them. <laughs> just don't squeeze together, just nice and light. Plenty of air in there. We've got 200 mils of milk. What I want you to do, Cal, yeah. 
is pour in three quarters of that in the middle. So make a well in the middle. Make a bit of a well in the middle. Three quarters, three quarters, three quarters. Go on, keep going. That's not three quarters. That'll do. Now, like I showed you there. Yeah. Crisscross. Come on, quickly. You can't miss them out. Criss. And right the way around the edge. Crisscross. Right the way around. Scrape around the edge. Right the way around the edge. Turn your bowl around so you can do it on all the sides properly. That's it. That's it. Right the way around. Crisscross. That's it. Crisscross. So you don't you handle it at all, try and keep your hands out of it. Right around the edge. And you make some more milk. Yeah. Well, crisscross, get it turned. That's it. Get all turned from the edge, you got the bottom all scraped up. Get the muscles going, kid. Hard in it. Right, bring it all together. That's it, pat on top. Pat, give it a pat on top. That's it, scrape the sides. Now, will that lift out onto the surface? All in one ball? No. Come on, it <laughs> will <laughs> lift out. <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> on, the, on the surface? Come on, you useless monkey. Come on, get poured out. <laughs> Come on, pour it. In bits, in 10, 20 minutes. Right, I want all that squashed together. Not too hard with your fingers. Get it all to, to a ball. Come on, get it pressed in. Get it pressed in your hands. Right, now to roll it out gently. And is it that gentle? Jesus. Can you just your mum's face? Go on then. Now turn it as you do it. Just push it in. Got it? Go. Go on. Not too hard. So turn it. A bit more pressure on it. Just a bit more pressure. And keep it all even, the same height, same uh, thickness. I'm starting to get a bit sticky on there. So you want to touch a flower. It's just a bit more. Just while the sticky is. Why high? No, that's it. Not one bit touch that sickness. Put some pressure on him. Be here all day. You have to be gentle with it. I'll be gentle with you. Sounds like a sticky. You need some flour. Don't just sprinkle it all over. Sprinkle where the wet is. See. No, that's okay. It's not getting sticky. It's not getting sticky. It's being a clown. Turn it. You're supposed to turn it, not just squeeze it together, that's it. Right, this will be the last roll. You know, two to three centimetres, that's all you need. A bit harder. It's thick as that. Look how thick this is, compared to that. You're pressing down there, but you're not pressing down here. Mm -hmm. oh, look. Right, press on the edges, close the edge you can. That's it, press down and wiggle. Wiggle. Wiggle the, the cutting at your ass. <laughs> Wiggle it. Now lift it out. Yeah. Continue going off around the kitchen with it. Just lift <laughs> it out. Yeah. Oh, now, now get close again. Try, try and use all your. One in. You should wiggle it side to side. Make sure you cut to the bottom when you do it. Cut to the bottom. Press. Press. Oh my god. This kid, I tell you, he'll never make a cup in his life. Press hard at the bottom. Hard to the bottom. Even. That's it. That side as well. If you're pressing this side, but you're not pressing that side. That's it. One. Perfection. One. Perfection. Yeah, there's nice one. One. Cut. That's it. Wiggle. Just shake it. Wiggle, wiggle. That's it. Um, you know the one over here. Oh, you get two. Uh, no, no, you've got a gap there, haven't you? You've got a gap. What's so, this? No, 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 you can't. What's this? <laughs> then, one, here, shit. Oh. 
Right, there's Calm's scones. These are for me, aren't they? Not too close together. A messy mix. Scones. Come on, cling film, air cover with tea towel. Put them back on there. Okay. And we're going to egg wash. Egg wash these from top of the toaster. Come on, on top of the toaster. Can you reach in the ladder? Leave them there for 20 minutes. Let them rest. Mm -hmm. Now we're just going to egg wash these, kid. Oh, okay. So dig it in there. And let me show you first. And then all on top, each one of them, yeah? Pit and decorate it now, like your granddad. <laughs> Just on the top. Right, Typhoon Callum decided to destroy the whole kitchen with the cheese and the mess everywhere. So I put more cheese on the tray than on the scone itself. So I've egg washed them, a bit of cheese, they'll go in the oven and about 180 for about 15 20 minutes. So can you open the oven, Callum, without destroying the house? And put the tray in? This kid will work at the office, never work at a chef ever. Top tray, that's it, yeah, we're in. About 20 minutes on 180. Let's see how they turn out, kid. There are the cheese scones. Little beauties. Golden. The ones that just come up. Right, we need to move them onto there. And there we go. Straight onto a wire rack. Eventually. Eventually. Why you want to see it out for? Scones done. Thumbs, well, say scones, but they're not so bad. And that's with the plain flour. So there's the, there's the cheesy scones. There the quiche were knocked up. And there's some little fruit scones. Done. Easy. Hi, guys. If you enjoyed the videos and like what you're seeing, um, do me a favour. See that YouTube button down there, that subscribe button. Just give it a just give it a press. Because the more subscriptions I get, the more I can do. The more I can keep helping you. I enjoy doing these. So hit the like button. One of that one. Just give it a click. And hit that one there. And let's keep cooking and let's stay safe. Okay? Rock on.